Hi everyone, this is Alexander Ansipov. If you remember, in my last video, we created an application where a user can see the list of his jobs and see the job details. And now I'm going to show how to add the list of sub-entities to entities. In my case, I would add the list of labors to the jobs. In other words, job details screen will have table, which will show the list of labors of these jobs with ability to add new labor. But before doing it, let's a little bit update the UI of our screen. So let's add grid, add to cell in our grid, clone and clone. Then let's specify the size of the first cell S2 and the last cell also S2. And then move our input component into second and third cells. So let's do it. Also, let's add class iron padding for content element. Let's add another grid component and let's clone its column and add button into the first column and change text of the button on add labor. After pressing this button, we will show the screen where a user will be able to add new labor to the job and list of labors will be displayed in another data table. And now let's create collection for our labors. Go to Apple database, open our main DB and create new labors collection. First column of course will be job identificator, then field staff, quantity with type number, another column and let's add last vendor column. Our collection is ready and now let's come back to Apple. Create new screen, labor. Okay, again, let's remove footer, change toolbar title to labor, and add back button. Let's add class to content iron padding. For labor screen, also let's add grid. Let's clone. So unspecify size as to here and as to here. Okay, now let's clone grid row. Add one more cell and put button. So it will be save button and this will be cancel button. So let's specify text. Save and cancel. So pay attention that cancel button will act the same as a back button. Now let's set UI of our screen and first it will be field stuff and we will use select component for displaying and showing stuff. So let's specify label. Since uh, field stuff is a select component, uh, we can specify its element in outline. So we can just clone select options and there is another variant. So we can create variable stuffs with value. So as you see this is an array of objects with two properties id and name and also don't forget to specify type as any because again it's an array. Now let's come back into design mode, select select option element and add star and g4 attribute with value let stuff of stuffs. It means that we will iterate through stuffs array and add every stuff element into select component. Then let's provide value as stuff id and text as stuff name. Then let's add input component with label vendor. I will not add another input component because uh, you can do it by analogy with uh, field stuff and vendor. 
Now I'd like to add labor variable with type any and value empty object. This variable will be used for storing uh, value of current labor. For that, let's specify ng model of select element as uh, labor field stuff and vendor ng model as labor vendor. Now add logic of saving current labor into a database. For that, let's import database service, select main db, our labor and add create service. Then we have to add data source, labor create service, add name, add labor, and add mapping. So we'll map uh, labor variable on body request. Save it. Go to design tab and uh, specify action on uh, save button click. So invoke service and add labor data source. And last, let's add navigation from job details screen on labor screen. So let's select add labor button and specify action on click event uh, run type script. Then add snippet navigator page. Change road name on labor. Then we have to pass uh, job ID as in parameter. So let's do it. As you see here, we created an object and then convert this object into the string and pass it as a parameter. Let's save and update routing of labor screen to be able to accept labor parameter. And then on the labor screen, we have to add action on event after page showing type script. And here we have to get road parameter labor convert string into an object and send this value into labor variable. Now let's save and test. Let's see if the first job at labor select staff name to provide some value for the vendor and press save. Now let's go to the database and check that new record was inserted. So as you see, the fields vendor, field staff and the job ID are filled. Now let's display the list of labels on job details screen. For that let's add search database service from main DB and uh, labor collection. Since uh, we have to get the list of labors only for particular job, we have to add query service. We can test its work on a test screen. Now let's specify where condition. So to return all labors where job ID equals this value. Now let's test and we get one labor as a response. Let's come back to job details screen. Add labor query service, set labor's name, then add mapping. So let's map job variable on where condition. Job is an object and where is a string, so we have to add conversion uh, value, which is a job uh, into the string. So we create a new object with just one uh, property job ID, which is equal value ID, and then convert this object into the string. Now let's save and create new variable labors with type any. We will set response of our labor service into this variable. So let's perform mapping array on labors variable. Then let's invoke the service on after page showing event. We are close to the end. Now let's select data table and specify labors as a value for all properties. 
then select first column property will be field stuff and name will be field stuff then select second column property will be vendor and name also will be vendor now let's save and test let's press view for the first row okay this is a list of our labors and now let's add second labor so let's select stuff name one and provide something like this press save and press back button and here we see second labor as a last step let's make some cosmetic changes for labor screen we will add snippet for add labor service so let's add present loading select type of the snippet bubbles and then select dismiss loading save and test again add labor select stuff write some value and press save okay great that is all what i wanted to show in this video thanks for watching